Hello student. Today we are going to start our first chapter, computer overview. In the earlier class, I have mentioned you the marks distribution of the theory paper as well as the practical paper. Please follow that first class if you have missed that class. The first topic of computer overview is what is computer? A computer is an electronic device that can perform a variety of operations in accordance with a set of instructions or program. But I will give an information that from where this computer word came. Computer word came from the word computer. The word compute. This compute word means the calculations. So when the computer is came into the word that means only the calculation. And now there are many tasks that computer can do. So today the limitation is not only in the computational process, but in computer we can play a game and everything we can do for an office work, everything. This computer is an elaborated machine for us which can do anything. And yeah, there is some limitations always, but uh, it is more, much faster than the human. Now, what is data and information? Data is a raw fact, whereas information is a meaningful data. If I give you an example that what is data, say I will give you a name of three persons, A, B and C, that is called the data. But if I will give you the information between A, B and C, that is the information, and that is called the information. Say, uh, C is the child of A and B. So, you will get a complete picture of AC family and it is called the information. But the raw fact is a data. Next, what is uh, functions of computer? Functions of computer is input, process and output. First, we will go for an input unit. It is a pictorial diagram of the computational process. Input unit first uh, goes to the central processing unit. Central processing unit gets the information and so the information to the memory. That is not only the main memory, it is going to fetch information from the main memory and if it, uh, if there is an instruction for storing the information, then it will store it to the secondary memory. Then the output is shown in the screen. So central processing unit is the output to the output unit. Next, we will come to the input unit. Input unit. An input unit takes the input and converts it into the binary form so that it can be understood by the computer. There are many input units. I will give you four input unit example: keyboard, mouse, scanner, joystick, keyboard. Uh, we have everyone of uh, we have used this input unit keyboard. In, uh, keyboard comprises of functional keys, then alphanumeric keys, cursor movement keys, special key. What do you mean by functional key? That F1, F2, F3, up to F9, that is all functional key. Next, alphanumeric key A to Z is alphabetical key and 0 to 9 is a numeric key. Next, cursor key up down, right and left is the cursor. Next special case like at the rate, dollar, asterisk, plus minus into divide, minus, modulus, question mark, all these are special key. Next, the mouse. Then, scanner, twist. Next, we are going, and these are other examples of input unit OMR, OCR, MICR, barcode reader, touch screen, microphone, graphics tablet, digital camera, light. Next, CPU. Arithmetic and logical unit. CPU comprises of few unit, arithmetic and logical unit, control unit. This ALU 
the short form of arithmetic logical unit is ALU and control unit is CU. This ALU does the mathematical operation plus minus n cube divide and CU does the other instruction that is all control type of instructions. Next the output unit, printer, monitor. Next we will come to the memory unit. Memory unit, first the smallest unit the, and a bit is an elementary unit of a memory. Smallest unit is bit and nibble 4 bit equal to 1 nibble. 4 bit equal to 1 nibble. Next, 8 bit equal to 1 byte. 8 bit equal to 1 byte. And this is the in ascending order bit, then byte, then 1024. 1, 0, 2, 4, byte equal to 1 kilobyte, 1, 0, 2, 4, byte equal to 1 kilobyte. Next, 1, 0, 2, 4, kilobyte equal to 1 megabyte, 1, 0, 2, 4, megabyte equal to 1 gigabyte, and so on. Terabyte, petabyte, e exabyte, zettabyte, yottabyte, then brontobytes and geobytes. Next the hardware. And hardware represents the physical and the tangible components of a computer. That is the component that can be seen and touched. Or we can say that collectively the electronic, electrical and mechanical equipment that makes up a computer is called hardware. And examples of hardware, input device, output device, CPU, hard disk, sound card, etc. Next the peripherals. The peripherals are the devices that surround the system units. Example the keyboard, mouse, speaker printer, monitor, etc. A software, software refers to the set of program that governs the operation of a computer system and hardware refers to the tangible parts of the and equipments that makes up the computer system. What do you mean by operating system? An operating system is a program that acts as an interface between the user and the hardware. That is all the computer resources and controls all the components of the computer system. So, if we draw computer, yeah, if we use the OS, so what is the different, uh, what is the function of OS? OS actually interacts with the CPU and the application program and the application program interacts with the user. So, we sit here and we will do some operations to the application program. Application program interacts with the OS and then the OS interacts with the CPU. And next, if we want some result, the CPU gives the result to the OS, then OS gives the result to the application program, then application program gives the result to the user. Next, the language processor. Language processor, there is assembler, interpreter and compiler. Assembler, the language processor converts the program written in the assembly level language into the machine level language. That is the assembler. What do you mean by interpreter? Interpreter converts the high level language of a program into the machine level language by converting and executing it line by line 
and what is compiler compiler also convert the high level language of the program into the machine level language but in a one go so what is the difference between interpreter and compiler compiler and interpreter both converts the hhl language hll language that is high level language into the machine level language but interpreter do it line by line and compiler do it in a one go next the application program and application software is a set of program necessary to carry out operations for the specified applications customized application software and general application software there is two type of application software so what do you mean by customized application software this type of software is a tailor made software according to a user's requirement the software is developed to meet all the requirements specified by the user however this cannot be directly installed by any other users workspace as the requirements of the user may differ from the first one on the software may not fit the requirement of the new user general application software this type of software is developed keeping in mind the general requirements for carrying out the specific task many users can use it simultaneously as it fulfills the general requirements next the strength and weakness of computer strength speed high storage capacity accuracy reliability versatility and the weakness lack of decision making power and zero iq evolutions of computer first abacus then napier logans bones then pascal's adding machine then leibniz calculator jacquard's new Babbage difference engine, analytical engine, first program, Hollerith machine, first electronic computer, Mark I, Enab, John I, Newman architecture, Stuart programming concept. Today we are using the last one, John I, Newman architecture and Stuart programming concept. Next, the generations of computer. There are five generations of computer. The first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation, and fifth generation. evolution and um, it is elaborated in the textbook only but uh, i will not elaborate here because uh, it is not so much important from the examination point of view next the elaboration evolution of storage and display technology machine readable punch card magnetic drum magnetic tape hard disk drive floppy this then optical storage media cd dvd flash drive blu ray disk the cloud today the latest technology is the cloud evolution of this technology crt lcd plasma monitors touch screen monitors oled then evolutions of os unix then qdos then ms dos we are most familiar with the ms dos then linux then command user interface then graphical user interface and we are using graphical user interface nowadays evolutions of programming language first generation programming language that is machine language then second generation programming language low level language third high level language what are the languages used in the third generation algol cobol fortran basic c pascal etc in fourth generation programming language sql and fifth generation prolog ops5 mercury etc then the evolution of software application command line program desktop applications web application mobile applications next the types of computer analog computer digital computer hybrid computer then the types of digital computer types of digital computer embedded computers then micro computers personal computers mobile and held computers portable computers desktop pcs workstations then my mini computers mainframe computer super computer these three computers are very large in shape and size the the most 
powerful computer is supercomputer and this supercomputer is very large in size and its memory capacity is also very high next if you like